peace on the planet. Is it possible? Peace in one's heart. Is it possible? Peace in one's mind. Is it possible? And so many feeling that it is impossible. How can I have peace in my heart when my life is not very peaceful? How can I have peace of mind when I am filled with worry and concern? How can I find peace? And you're asking if peace on the planet is possible? Have you watched the evening news, one would say. And we want to share that peace is within. All eternal souls hold peace. We want to share wisdom and insights. Tracy is the medium in which source energy is able to speak through. Tracy moves aside, if you will. There are so many names for it. But we like to hmm, share wisdom around topics of love, compassion, kindness, forgiveness. All the work through Tracy's gifts of mediumship is just that. So today we want to share how one would take a step, even a little tiny step, towards peace on the planet. And how would one find peace on the planet is to look within. How can one find peace on the planet if one is at war within oneself? We would ask that each soul see the beauty of who you are, see the magnificence of who you are underneath the layers of human experience, underneath the challenges, the setbacks, the hurdles, underneath the fear, the resentment, the frustration, the anger, underneath the disappointments and the sorrow and the heart. We are wanting to share wisdom for ones to bring forth one's own wisdom, to bring forth one's own God within, to bring forth one's own divine eternal light. And ones will say, are you kidding me? Collective consciousness, come on. We understand of the condemnation and we understand of the judgment. We also understand there are so many in search, wanting and desiring to find a place to feel better than perhaps one feels, to put down the war within, to let it go, to search for something far greater than one is experiencing, especially in emotion. If you have come across this segment, there is always reason for. Now, if you have come across this segment and really wish to turn it off, that is okay. We are not here to convince anyone of any one thing, but we are here to share. Tracy says it is like having a conversation from the heavens. So if the heavens could speak directly to you, which is what is truly taking place, if you will, lack of better words, what do you think the heavens would share with you? Would you not think that all the angels would only share love and compassion and kindness and gentleness and understanding and forgiveness? Do you not think that is all possible for you to feel because it is extended forth from the heavens? You are never alone as you walk your steps upon Mother Earth. And when you feel most alone, you are truly never alone. So let us say you have transitioned into the grand heavens 
and you can see Juan is in great mm, pain and suffering, if you will, calling forth divine eternal light to assist mankind. Do you think you would go? Do you think you would go as your divine eternal light to assist another upon Mother Earth? And yet when ones are walking upon Mother Earth, there are no words at times to share because it is not seen in the same light, if you will. And we are asking ones to find one's light. And we don't want to have it a whole bunch of sort of trendy words, love and light, love and light. That's not what we are meaning. Divine eternal light is just that. And a love so pure, it is light. We are speaking about the essence of who you are. And in that divine eternal light is the grandest compassion. It is the greatest love, the most understanding, gentle place that one can be. And we are asking for ones to find within, go and search. We understand life experience only provides the contrast for the search. And ones will say, Tracy will say, why does it have to be so hard? Why does it have to be so challenging? Why do ones have to hurt others? Why do I have to get hurt? Perhaps I've hurt someone else. Why does it have to be that way? Why do I have to be provided with situations that I have to find forgiveness? I could do without that. I could do without that. And why do I have to find a place to be angry? I could do without that too. But emotions are there to be felt for the contrast. How would one know peace if one didn't know the turmoil of the emotions of anger and resentment, frustration, fear? How would you know peace if you did not know the opposite of? And we are just guiding to gently bring yourself to the awareness that peace is held within, to the awareness that with a choice, several choices, that one truly can choose to place down the anger and hold the joy, find the joy. And we are talking, if we could speak endlessly, truly, but we're wanting to make the segments shorter. So we had mentioned that if joy is on one end and um, frustration is on the other, resentment, anger is on the other, hatred on the other, feeling mm, condemning and judging and, and you're wanting to be free of all that. Why is it that ones choose sort of this part of the scale, if you will, ones choose to hang on to the anger, to the hurt, to the heartache, to the turmoil. Ones choose to hang on. It is all meant to be felt. And when we say heartache, we understand heartache is a healing. Anger can be placed down. Heartache, it takes time to heal. But it still allows space to feel so empty and helpless, so opposite to who you truly are. You are whole and divine. And so we are asking ones to go and search to find ones, God within, divine inner essence, name it what you will. Go in and search for your inner light that you arrived to Mother Earth with. It's just part of who you are. And ones will say, oh, I didn't arrive with it. Do you know the family I arrived into? Are you kidding me? Nobody has light. Nobody had compassion or love. What contrast to go searching for your own? 
to have compassion to ones that are lacking compassion, to give kindness to the unkind, to love one that is not very lovable, is who you are. And we've talked about vibration, and we've talked about just placing it down. What do you wish to let go of? And ones will say, but I can't let go of it. Can't you see I am hurt? And we do see. And that is why we are sharing. That is why we are speaking about peace on the planet, peace in your heart, peace in your mind. This is why we are sharing for ones to be able to bring forth one's own wisdom, to understand it is held within, to understand the beauty of you. And to understand there is a connection to the eternal light. And that is why we ask, where were you before you arrived upon Mother Earth? And where do you believe you are going to be after you depart Mother Earth? Most would agree, divine eternal light. Now, there are some beliefs that hmm, will find a place to think there is the opposite. Again, the contrast. We are not here to change a belief. We are just here to allow space for you to allow space to find your own wisdom within, to find out who you truly are and who are you among the upset and who are you among the war and who are you among the upset towards oneself and the war within. The condemnation that one places upon oneself, the judgment, the harsh judgment one places upon oneself. Truly, how can one feel their divine eternal light when so much beating and beating and beating, just beating themselves right into the ground? Bring compassion forth for oneself. Bring kindness forth for oneself. Bring forgiveness forth to oneself. We know, we repeat, we know this is our message. It's a strong, powerful, beautiful message, for it is a message of truth. If every soul brought forth their grandest compassion, would there be war within? Would there be war on the planet? If every soul could see divine eternal light in its purest essence and form and they could see it within another and all ones could see would be light sort of like stars in the sky how could anyone condemn stars in the sky and how can anyone pass judgment on the greatest light but ones don't see it because it gets buried, buried within, buried when one looks at another. Oh, you are not like me and I am nothing like you. Hmm. But deep within, would it make sense that if all souls come to walk upon Mother Earth, that there is divine inner light in each? Now ones will challenge and say, are you kidding? There are ones walking around this planet that have no soul. Another topic for another day. We are just gently reminding ones in everyday life, everyday challenges, everyday responsibility to find a moment to search within for your divine inner light of who you are. You're not going to lose. <laughs> it's impossible. It's impossible. When you go in search for the grandest love you hold within, it is always found because it is part and peace of the whole, which is truly you. Really, really good. Don't just take our word for it. 
We want to be playful. We want to leave you hmm, feeling better than you felt perhaps before you found this segment. We understand it sort of sounds heavy, but it is not. It is light. It is <laughs> lightness. It is divine. It is joy. It is finding the space to guide, to say, find your joy. Follow your bliss. It is true. When you have the contrast, what are you choosing to hang on to? And so many choose to hang on to what doesn't feel good. Why not choose to hang on to what does feel good? It's a beautiful question to ponder, especially if you are hanging on to resentment and anger, frustration, fear for years, childhood into adulthood. We understand. And that is why we are sharing. Peace on the planet. Is it possible? Yes, that is why we are sharing. Peace in the heart. Is it possible? Yes, that is why we are sharing. Peace in your mind. Is it possible? Yes, that is why we are sharing. Mm. Really, really, really good. <laughs>